Hello folks, time for another video and giveaway winner and a shave. Well, it's finally here, the end of the week and the announcement of the 400 subscriber giveaway winner. So let's get this out of the way right now. I'm going to run the generator, the uh, YouTube... Uh, random comment generator it also checks for uh to make sure you're subscribed to my channel so let's run that right now boom okay so congratulations to glenn sherman and it's awesome that glenn spells his name with two n's just like i do which is awesome a lot of glenn's out there just the one n um but Glenn Sherman and myself spell it with two N's. All right. So congratulations, Glenn. Uh, I know you're on a couple of Facebook groups, so you, you we can either, it's the end of the week, so I can't speak well, you can either uh, message me on Facebook um, or use the email address that's attached to my YouTube channel, um, or I'll get in touch with you. It doesn't matter. So uh, yeah, congratulations to Glenn Sherman for winning the Naked Armor, Spartacus Sandalwood set. And I'll also throw a, uh, a pack of blades in there for you, Glenn. Um, if you contact me soon enough, you could tell me what kind of blades you want me to throw in there. If I have them. I do have a lot of blades, so we'll see. So, yep. Get the old pack as well as paperwork. It's never been used. Comes in this nice little gift box set there. Kind of cool. All right. So now that the giveaway is over there. And oh, by the way, I know my buddy Wes, uh, his uh, Lancaster towel is out for delivery today. So an all around spectacular day. Well, my hair looked like it dried a little bit here because it's uh, kind of hot in the bathroom today, even though it's a little chilly outside. I was going to leave the window open, but I know it'll happen. I'll open the window and like some kind of like, you know, bobcat or something or you know excavator will come by and make a lot of noise so anyway i'm gonna keep it simple today i was kind of like in a eucalyptus kind of mood so got some parasol cream which is the same scent as the parasol in the container it's got that nice eucalyptus and yeah just basic awesome parasol green and i already whipped it up in the Bicrops bowl that my wife got me and put my little initial on it there. Got it whipped up. And the brush I used today was the PAA Peregrino. Got it all kind of nice and pluffed up there or fluffed up there. Listen to that. Doesn't that sound good? Mm, good stuff. All right, so razor i felt like using the razor rock eco and to remember jill i put on the uh rod george the frog handle there because jill did name it and my buddy wes sent me that handle and i got the eco on top with a half of a pole silver figure that ought to be an interesting combo got a half of a pole silver in there so let's give this a little a little romp. No pre-shave. Just wet the face. Have a few days of growth. Still waiting on a haircut. <laughs> my wife actually cuts my hair because she used to be a beautician in her younger days. But she's just been so busy with stuff. Making sure the kids uh, are online with their schooling. Actually, today's Friday. I should get this video up today. Then the kids actually don't have any schooling today. The, it's a school holiday, so she's got a break. Classic Parasso Green. I like the uh, cream. 
a little bit better than the hard soap. Look at that. That's glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I actually can feel that eucalyptus. Has that nice cooling sensation there. So hope everyone is still saying staying safe out there. Like I said, it is the end of the week and the mouth is not working. All right. Razor Rock Eco, Rod George the Frog Handle, and a half of a Pulse Silver Super Iridium. And of course the air conditioning had to come on the second I started to shave. I love this razor. And thanks to Jimmy at NYC Wet Shaving because he sparked the idea for me to buy this razor. Because it's a really good deal with Italian Barber. <clears throat> I mean, I believe the razor was $29. And they also send you a 100 crown half DE blades. Which I find to be pretty good. I mean, I know some people don't like them, but I've shaved with that blade a few times, and it's it's been rather nice. I just feel like going with a pull silver today because I want to see how that shaves on this. I actually don't have many of those blades left, so I don't even know why I really picked it, but it was just the tuck was just sitting there kind of staring at me, so... And once again, congratulations to Glenn Sherman. The winner of the 400th subscriber giveaway. I think I'm up to like 410 or 411 subscribers now. And the funny thing is I actually have something set up for uh, kind of already set up for the 500 subscriber giveaway. I'll tell you one thing I love about this Eco. For under the nose, it is superb. It gets right under those nostrils like perfectly. And I find that the angle is really no different than any other DE razor I have, even though this is a SC single edge. This would actually be a good razor to have if you have a DE razor with a big head and you can't get under your nose. Just to finish up with this. Kind of like how leaf you can get the twig. I find this razor very, very, very nice. I mean, it's very light, so that's why I like to use a little heavier handle on it. The stock handle is like, weighs like a feather. It's nothing. It weighs like a feather. It has no weight to it at all. All right. That was a very, wow. That Paul Silver, uh. did very nice now i remember watching oh, i don't remember whose channel but they were talking about the pulse over blade i don't know if it was ken ken at ken's bsing or shaving and bsing but uh ken lee but i remember hearing somewhere that you can kind of get pulse silvers in a different brand but i have to go back and look at that video so if you know comment below it's comparable to a pulse silver.
super iridium. I love the feedback on this razor. And I'm doing that without any lather because the slickness is really good. Enjoying that slickness from the... Of course, I put my brush down on a big wad of <laughs> lab that I had in the counter there. So we'll do just a little against the grain. Oh, I can really feel that nice cooling of the eucalyptus. Whoa. Well, I just painted my nose. Ah, it smells so good. Especially when you get it up your nose. <laughs> ah, you know, it's Friday. Sloppy day. It's not early in the morning, but it's late morning, so I should get this video up today. Even if I put it up later today. It'll give you guys something to watch over the weekend. Well, I happen to get lather all up everywhere right now. Let me clean that off before I make another mess. All right, a little against the grain with the eco. I love the feedback on this razor. You might not hear it because my air conditioning is running, but. It does have really good feedback. I've been uh, binge watching something kind of different lately on YouTube. I've been binge watching Mikhail's Navy, the original Ernest Borgnine show from the 60s. They sure don't make them like that anymore. Awesome. But Ernest Borgnine and Tim Conaway and Joe Flynn. Poor Joe Flynn, he died so young. Poor guy died in his pool. I think he had a heart attack at like 49. I opened that back up that I did last time, but a little weeper, but it's okay. I love the feedback on this razor. It's so awesome. And it's so efficient under the nose. I love it. All right. I'm going to empty the sea monster sink because it is looking very furry today. Yuck. Looking really, really fuzzy. Just want to get that lather out of my nose. <laughs> Really smelling that eucalyptus like really heavy duty now. It's almost like I popped the halls cough drop in my nose. <laughs> I love that eco razor. It's full of water right now. All right, so let me do a cold water rinser. As cold as my tap water will get. It's been getting a little colder since the weather's been a little cooler, but the second the sun comes out, kind of lose that coolness. Pretty slick soap. And I'll tell you what, when you buy the Parasso in the tube, 
I think it's around ten dollars and uh, you get a ton you get 5.2 ounces in that tube that's a good value and you only need like a little dollop in your bowl or on your brush it's also a great cream to face lather so you can just either apply the cream to your face and then go to town with a brush or you can put a dollop on your brush good stuff and my buddy Wes is uh should get his Lancaster sometime today I think he messaged me and says it's actually out for delivery which is awesome my buddy Wes alrighty so that was the Parasso green cream got your typical eucalyptus and aloe but you could really eucalyptus the eucalyptus definitely shines through and i just kind of lathered it up in the bicrops bowl that my wife got me that uh she put my initial on there nice little bowl it's pretty much almost just like a captain's choice bowl it's a little bit higher than the captain's choice bowl by just a little bit that the just got a little bit higher size, but it's a great bowl and it's inexpensive. And I used the PAA Peregrino brush. I mean, wipe that off. It's full of, full of lather. The Peregrino brush has that awesome uh, Roswell knot in there. Good deal. Now, what would be great to finish this shave off with, I was thinking about actually grabbing PAA's awesome sauce, but I wanted to keep it all Parasso today. So I'm going to use the Parasso Green aftershave lotion splash it's a total different scent than the soap to me it's got that nice italian citrus the scent very nice wow my face is lickety split smooth Good deal. Well, I love this stuff. Gotta put some more on. What I do love about the uh, PA's version of this uh, Parasso is the longevity. I mean, this lasts a decent amount on my face as far as scent wise. But when I use the Awesome Sauce after Shape Splash, I could smell it for like six to eight hours later. <laughs> Where this kind of dissipates after about four or five. So that was the Parasso Green. Good stuff. All right. So if you enjoyed today's 400 subscriber giveaway winner reveal <laughs> and Parasso Shave, and congratulations to Glenn Sherman. Just contact me, Glenn, and uh, send me your address, and I'll get that out to you. Um, I should actually say my wife will get it out to you because she does all the mailing around here. So... That was good shave, good shave. The Eco, yeah, and by the way, that was the, sorry, the Razor Rock Eco. Got the Rod George the Frog on there. Tribute to Jill, because she did name it. And thanks to Wes for sending it to me. I love this setup. This is my favorite way to shave this with this razor. Alrighty. So, if you liked today's video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, psh, thumbs down. Please still subscribe, because I am working on another video, vi uh, video of course i'm working on another video but i'm working on another giveaway i'm looking up there because that's where i keep all my giveaway stuff and i have one lined up for when we get when we hit another monumental number which will probably be 500 so please subscribe and until next shave glenn signing off <laughs>